What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and another episode of PC Weekly News. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, give a like to the video, and hit the bell so you know when new content comes out. So let's kick off the week with Zelda Ocarina of Time. The fan-made port is out now, which is early. This was due in April, and it is called Ship of Harkinian. The port uses reverse-engineered code created by the aptly titled Zelda Reverse Engineering Team, while also adding a bunch of new features and improvements befitting to PC. While the port is based on reverse engineering code, you will will need a legally sourced ROM to play the game and get all the proper assets, so make sure you tread lightly and take care of this the way you need to if you want to be able to check it out. Moving over to Elden Ring, we've got a patch here for them taking out the death loop hack on PC. So apparently this emerged last week after invaders started crashing players' games by teleporting their character to an out-of-bounds location, causing them to fall to their death over and over again upon re-entering the game. Some players were able to get out of this and some weren't and lost dozens of hours of gameplay and I will tell you from my time in Elden Ring that would be extremely frustrating. So moving on, AMD announced two new technologies as part of its software lineup on Thursday. Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.0 or FSR 2.0 and Radeon Super Resolution which aim to get more mileage out of GPUs in a work smarter not harder approach similar to that of DLSS. AMD notes that FSR 2.0 will offer better image quality than FSR 1.0 in all four of its modes, ultra quality, quality, bounce, and performance. FSR 2.0 promises to deliver higher frame rates over its original iteration and compete more closely with Nvidia's DLS 2.0, whereas DLSS 2.0 uses machine learning, AMD's solution optimizes anti-aliasing based on temporal data. And this is really, really interesting. If they're aiming to get close to DLSS 2.0, that's a big deal because for me, DLSS 2.0 has been really good when it comes to image quality and being able to increase frame rate. And for all of my PC cloud gamers out there who enjoy the GeForce Now service like I do, it's time to jump into our weekly update. But before we get into the games, we've got a couple of other things to go over first, so let's get into it. This week brings the start of Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2 Resistance. Building has been wiped out. To help maintain cover, you now have overshield and new tactics like sprinting, mantling, and more. Even board an armored battle bus to be a powerful force or attach a cow catcher to your vehicle for extra ramming power. Join the 7 in the final battle against the IO to free the zero point. Also, Nexon, maker of popular global MMORPG Maple Story, is launching a special in-game quest exclusive to GeForce Now members. Level 30 plus Maplers who log in using GeForce Now will receive a GeForce Now quest that grants players a little boo pet and a GeForce Now event box that can be opened 24 hours after acquiring. But hurry, this quest is only available from March 24th to April 28th. And next up is a recommended controller from GeForce Now, the Stratus Plus from SteelSeries. This wireless controller combines precision with comfort, delivering a full console experience on a mobile phone and giving a competitive edge to Android and Chromebook gamers. Gamers can simply connect to any Android mobile or Chromebook device with Bluetooth low energy and play with a rechargeable battery that lasts up to 90 hours. Or they can wire to any Windows PC via a USB connection. All right, guys, now it's time to check out the six games we have for this week, so let's take a look. And the first of our six games this week is a new day and date release for Steam. It's actually early access for March 24th, 2022, and that's High Rise City. High Rise City offers a new spin on city simulations and tycoon games, expanding the economy and resource management aspect. Experience a modern take on the genre enriched with a complex resource-based economy system. And our next game is Fury Unleashed, originally released May 8th, 2020 on Steam. Shoot your way through the pages of an ever-changing comic book in this fast-paced roguelike. Play solo, in local, or online co-op. Expand your weaponry and upgrade your hero with each run. All that to find out why has your creator lost his faith in you and to prove him wrong. Our third game for this week is Power to the People on Steam and the Epic Game Store, originally released February 8th, 2022. Build and maintain a power grid for a constantly growing population, while fighting off all kinds of disasters in this thrilling resource management experience. It's time for you to give power to the people. Do you have what it takes to keep the lights on? Our next game up is Project Zomboid, originally released November 8th, 2013 on Steam. Project Zomboid is the ultimate in zombie survival. Alone or in multiplayer, you loot, build, craft, fight, farm, and fish in a struggle to survive. A hardcore RPG skill set, a vast map, massively customizable sandbox, and a cute tutorial raccoon await the unwary. 
And next up, we have Rugby 22, originally released January 27th, 2022 on Steam. Crouch by Nasset, discover the true rugby experience, play with the best clubs and top nations, enjoy a dynamic gameplay that stays faithful to the sport and experience the intensity of big matches. And our sixth and final game for this week is Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town, originally released September 15th, 2021 on Steam. Welcome to Olive Town, a peaceful community established by your trailblazing grandfather and his friends. Now that you've taken on this farm, it's your job to carry on his legacy. Plant crops, raise animals, build relationships, and get to know the residents of your new home. All right, that's going to wrap up our PC Weekly News update for this week. I'll definitely be checking out High Rise City as I'm a big SimCity and City Skylines fan, and that's right up my alley. I'm also excited to see what AMD does with their RSR and FSR technology going forward. Just like DLSS, that's exciting tech for consoles and for PC. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, if you haven't already, subscribe, thumbs up, and ring the bell so you know when I drop new videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.